Tenth race, Fellows and Mares are on the track and pretty into the post. Racing one mile, purse to $4,000. Number one, this and that. On the driven by Maurice Heron of New Austin. Two is game, Shoja. Little by Dorvin York of Indiana for Randy Tharps. Three is Bone Chill, all by Peter Galazian and James Greenwald for Bruce Regal for Brandon Wild Thing. By JR and Luann Ryan of Moon Township, Pennsylvania for Brent Holland. Five, Wildwood Marsha, held by Joe, Jim Picker, Chair of Cincinnati, Trent Tharps Drives. Six is Vicky's Bunny, held by Russell Crane of Indiana with Greg Aston. Seven is Kansas Queen, held by Ken Bailey of Canal Winchester, Del Miller Drives. Eight is Izzy Inc. by Joan Deaver's side of Frankfurt, Kentucky, Roger Keller for the bike. But I and Honeybutt Osborne, no by Gene Hall and Gary Conley, Herbie Brown of the Sulky. Win play show perfecta. Trifecta wagering. Tenth race pacing, fillets and mares lining up, moving in. On the back stretch, nearing the start. And they're off. From mid-track, Brandon Wild Thing uh, hustles away for the lead from the inside. Game shows you right there with her. This and that came off the rail third. Angling in fourth, Bone Chill. On the rail racing five, it's Wildwood Marsha to the inside, gapping two lengths sixth. Vicky's Bunny. Then it's a gap of three lengths seventh, Kansas Queen, followed by Izzy Yank and Honeyman Osborne. They're reaching the first quarter mile marker, 27-4. With the lead, it's the two game has showed you by two and a half. Brandon Wild Thing of the inside is second. This and that is third. Bone Chill coming to the outside and Bone Chill powering to the front end here. Wildwood Marsha hustled after the cover but couldn't keep up. They now swing into the clubhouse turn and Bone Chill has clear to take the lead. Game shows you to the inside is second. Brandon Wild Thing is third. Wildwood Marsha now committed. First up fourth. Half and 57 and two. This and that of the pocket is fifth. Vicky's Bunny, three lengths back, sixth to the outside. Honeybutt Osborne gets underway. Then comes Kansas Queen and Izzy Inc. Down the back stretch, and that's Bone Chill. Heavily favored here. She leads the way by two. Inside and racing is second. It's game shows you to the outside. Wildwood Marsha now showing us some heart here. I see it. Reaches the leader as they reach that three quarters, rather, 127. Bone Chill with the lead on the outside. Wildwood Marsha, she'll find the hole now, drop it to the inside, saving ground, and she'll get a breather here. And Wildwood Marsha closing the gap now as they turn for home. Last Saturday, eighth of a mile ago, and down the stretch they come. Bone Chill with the lead. And Wildwood Marsha coming back to the outside in mid stretch. It's Bone Chill. Wildwood Marsha still there, still coming strong into deep stretch. Wildwood Marsha, Bone Chill, noses apart in a tight finish at the wire. That's a photo for win. Hold on, tickets very tight for the win. Here's the official winner of the 10th, uh, number three, Bone Chill, a three-year-old daughter of Matt Scooter from Silky's Gal. Held by Peter Galazian, James Greenwald, New Jersey, and New York, Bruce Regal trains and drives. Coming in from Freehold Raceway in New Jersey, recording her fifth season's victory in only nine starts, pacing tonight's mile 157. Here's the order finish, the one this and that, finishing eighth game, shows you nine. Bone Chill, the winner, Brandon Wild Thing, four. Wildwood Marsha, two. Vicky's Bunny, five. Kansas Queen, seven. Izzy Inc., three. Honey by Osborne, six. In review, eight, nine, one, four, two, five, seven, three, six. No changes in the upcoming 11th race. One play show perfected trifecta.